Let's talk luxury. On this channel, I tend to talk about pre-loved luxury. Well, today we're talking brand new. I simply had to go into Louis Vuitton to try their new fragrance called Spell On You. And since I was going in, I decided to take you along. Now, unfortunately, this is not a vlog because I'm not allowed to film in Louis Vuitton, but I did get a bunch of photos so I can show you what's in the store right now. I encourage you to watch the whole thing because there's a lot of good stuff in here. For example, a size comparison of the new sack plat bags, which are beautiful. I kind of want one. A stunning new color combination. Kind of want one of those too. One of my ultimate dream bags. I can't believe they actually had it in the store. Hard to get your hands on. At the Houston Galleria, they just separated the main Louis Vuitton store. They made that a women's store and they've opened a new men's store, so I'm taking you there too. It's very cool. And then I also did a little jaunt to Chanel and Prada and Coach, so stay tuned for all of that. And since we're talking luxury, I have surrounded myself in an environment, an atmosphere of luxury today while I'm filming. I'm wearing the Louis Vuitton Rose du Vent Fragrance. Competing with that, I have my Trap Orange Vanilla Candle, one of my favorites. I'm wearing, of course, Jill Maurer jewelry, necklace, earrings, and spectacular rift ring. And I'm enjoying my Christian Dior Montaigne Tea. It's a lovely white tea with little roses. Simply divine, and I'm enjoying that in my Hermes Mosaic Platinum Teacup. Let's get started. <music> Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget from high-end luxury handbags and small goods to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos, and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. One of the perks of subscribing to my channel is you get to see my community posts on your YouTube homepage. That's where I post deals, discount codes, sales, and rare finds related to these beautiful things we love. By the way, all the stuff I just mentioned will be linked in the description box below if you're interested in any of it. I have discount codes for a couple of things, or at least for the jewelry. Check it out. So like I said, I went into Louis Vuitton. I'm posting this video on Tuesday. I was just there on Friday, so it was very recent. And I was able to snap photos of several things in the store that I thought you guys might be interested in seeing. If there's anything that you are interested in purchasing, please reach out to my sales associate, Becca, her phone number is linked below. Just text her and she can help you. Even if it's not something in this video, she's not always able to work miracles, but sometimes she can. And she can help you with pretty much anything you need, whether it's from the women's department or the men's department or housewares or whatever else. Pardon me as I look down at my screen because that's where I have the photographs and I need to reference those during this video. First off, the Kusan. Is that how you say it? A lot of people have a love-hate relationship with this bag. I like the overall look of it. I don't think it would be a functional bag for me personally, but they do have the all black one in the store with gold hardware. Check it out if you're interested. I also saw this bag. I thought it was really cute, pretty, didn't know what it was. I went back to the website and tried to find all these pieces after I took the photos. And this is called the favorite. We remember that they discontinued the previous favorite. So this is the remake of it, I guess. It's a beautiful little bag. It doesn't have a whole lot in common with the previous favorite, but it's very pretty. The fragrance counter. By the way, if you don't know this already, Becca is the fragrance expert at my Louis Vuitton store. She also used to work for Henry Bendel, so she's been in fragrances a long time. You know, they had those wonderful candles. So anything you need to know if you need help picking out a fragrance, if you don't have a store near you where you can smell them first, she is able to give excellent descriptions of them and honest opinions about them. And with, when you tell her what you like, she can help figure out something for you. She has been spot on when she has recommended perfumes for me or told me you're probably not gonna like that. Truth, she's very good at that. So reach out to her if you're interested in the perfumes. The Spell On Me, I'm sure a lot of people will like it. All of these perfumes went through market research, so somebody has to like them. It wasn't for me. There was this note, like a base note running through it that I still can't place, but it reminds me of something from my childhood that I don't like, and I wish I could remember what it was. It was enough that when I put it on, I washed it off after a few minutes. I just couldn't do it. But you should smell it for yourself if you're interested. Okay, this bag I had trouble finding on the Louis Vuitton website, so I don't know what the name of it is. However, look at this color combination. The exterior of the bag is this saffron orange, and then the interior of the bag is this eye-catching, brilliant, bright blue. 
Does that color combination look familiar to any of you? It should. It's the Louis Vuitton packaging. I just think that's fabulous. They had this little leather mini pochette and the cutest, if you're into backpacks, the cutest, tiniest little backpack. And that bag is actually called the Tiny Backpack. That's its official name. I saw these Noé bags. They're the size of a petite Noé, but they have this pocket on the front. I think that's such a fantastic update to the Noé bag because one of the downsides of the Noé is you just have have that one big pocket. The drawstring can be a little bit of a problem sometimes. It could be a little bit annoying. It's not that bad, but you know. But you have to reach inside. There are no pockets, no organization to the classic no way. Having that exterior pocket where you can have your phone, not certain that a phone would fit in that, but theoretically, your phone, maybe a card holder, keys. Brilliant. I thought this bag is pretty. It reminds me, I don't know the name of them now, I'm blanking on it, but it reminds me of the little smaller versions that I've seen in the monogram and the reverse monogram that kind of fold over the bento box. That's what it's called, right? That bag. It reminds me of that bag, but bigger and in leather and easier to get in and out of. You may have seen the padlock bag. This is the padlock on strap. It's smaller. It has a little button flap on the back where you could attach it to a belt. So if you like the padlock bag, but you want a smaller size of it, this could be a cool option or something more versatile good option for you. This looks like an updated pochette accessoire in Epi, and it's more versatile because it comes with a few strap options. It's called the Easy Pouch on Strap. Who's coming up with these names, first of all? And it has that chain strap, but it also has a leather shoulder strap. Very pretty pieces. I like the update on this. These I love. It's called the Troca. It comes in two different sizes, but they're the cute little boxy trunk sort of looking bags. They have the zip, they're all in leather, and they're in this woven, is it woven or is it just sewn that way? I can't tell from the pictures now, but it's a big Daumier print, the checkerboard. It has the chain strap and a long leather strap that might be long enough to be crossbody. Not 100% sure about that. I love these. Camera bag shape. It looks like it has a pocket on the front. Beautiful bag. If you like a lot of pockets and a more contemporary design, the utility bag might be for you. They had it in monogram and in leather. You get the main compartment, the two little front zipped compartments, and that extra little pocket on the strap. Of course, they had capucine bags in the store. I feel like the Houston Galleria always has, or usually has, a pretty good selection of the capucines. I've seen just the leather ones that are sort of the standard capucine. I've seen exotic ones. I've seen all kinds of them. They, I've, I've seen some really beautiful capucine bags at my store. They had this pink one. The little bag in front is called the Bella. Also very cute. It's about this big. Pretty Mahina print with the perforated monogram design. The leather and chain woven strap. Beautiful little bag. But my store also had one of my dream bags. One of my ultimate dream bags that will probably never be able to enter my collection because of the price point, an Arty Capucine. This is the one they had. It's part of the current Arty Capucine collection. I got to look at it up close. It is spectacular. If you're not familiar with the Arty Capucines, Vuitton basically gives their Capucine bag to a handful of different artists. The artists decorate the bag, design the bag in some way. Sometimes they'll print something on it, which is the case with this. Other times they'll add things to it. If you're familiar with the white capucine that was called the banana bag because it had a banana hanging from it and it had other fruits that you could hang from it, that's an Arty Capucine. Some I like, some I don't. This is one I do happen to like, and it's currently in the store. It was a real treat to be able to see that in person. Okay, these bags I fell in love with. Let's see if I can pronounce this. It's the Valisette Souple BB, and oh, if I had the funds to be able to add this, I would do it immediately, and I would get the Damier Ben one with the Vachetta, because you don't see that combination. It has the chain strap. It also has a thick leather strap. Beautiful bag. I wish it could be mine. The sack plat. They had quite a few variations of the sack plat. They have these two little emprunt ones. This is the tiniest size. They also have these two epi leathers. I love that they have monogram straps with them. It's a nice contrast. And they had the two new monogram sizes. The BB and the PM. Is that what they're called? I don't remember. 
but they're the two new sizes. So they have the tiny one that's been out for a while, and then you can see the two new ones. They've added the little leather pieces on the corner like they have on the on the go. They have the chaps and handles like the Speedy. The interior is red, and I wanted to make sure to get this photo for you so you can see the size comparison. I would probably need the biggest size. They're really beautiful. I love them. Yes, I was right, the BB and the PM. They also had several vanity cases. There was this one from one of the new collections with the leopard print. Is it called Be Wild? Something like that. And then these two, the Empreint and the Monogram with the reverse monogram and the black leather. That's my favorite. I would like to have that in my life, except that it would just sit on my shelf and look pretty and that's too much money for that. For me, anyway. They also had several variations of the twist bag. There are these new ones that have epi leather and these really interesting decorative straps. I like them. I like that sort of orangey brown one. And then there were the more classic twists like these. Lovely bags. The Houston store also has a fabulous collection of fine jewelry and the costume jewelry. But here are some of the fine pieces if you're interested in those. These rings are really beautiful. I love that one that has the green that's malachite in there. They're so pretty. And those are on the left, that's two different rings, and on the right, that's three different rings. The Houston store has a good collection of trunks, too. This little trunk, now if you're not familiar with Louis Vuitton trunk prices, hold on to your head to keep it from exploding, okay? But this little trunk, which is yay big, not very big, was about $5,000, $4,000 something, $5,000. The most affordable of the Louis Vuitton trunks and there's a beautiful bracelet sitting in it. So if you would love to have a piece of Louis Vuitton trunk history, but you can't afford the, you know, the ones that are tens of thousands of dollars, 100,000, the huge travel trunks, but you've got five grand to blow. Here's the trunk for you. There's another angle of it next to the spectacular flower trunk. If you wanna know more about that trunk, I'm gonna send you over to Dale's Addictions channel because she bought one and she shows it to you in detail and how it's constructed. Mm, it is so beautiful. I would love to have that. You can also see the little silver petite mal in that photograph. Yes, please. This tiny trunk, I'm not sure the price point on that. I wanna say about 1800. You can use it as a little jewelry box. Literally fits in the palm of your hand. That is the smallest trunk type piece that you can get painted by the painters at Louis Vuitton. The Houston store does have a painter in-house, so if you do order a trunk piece from Becca, you could also have it painted if you'd like. Oh, and if you're looking for something for a pretty affordable price point, especially if you're already thinking ahead to the holidays, they have these little bracelets and part of the proceeds go to UNICEF. And they have a little Louis Vuitton lock on them. I think they're about $250. All right, let's head over to the men's store. Brand new, it just opened about two weeks ago. When you walk in, you see this fabulous display. It's a big LCD screen. The image changes and moves and they have these statues, which at first I thought were mannequins that you could change the clothes on, but they are not. They are statues. They are as is, except maybe the guy on the end with the varsity jacket. And then, that toiletry pouch on the table. This is called the trunk pouch and it's in that mirrored leather. You remember Vuitton had that mirror collection that came out a while back, 90s, early 2000s. They have the new release of that. It's done differently, so hopefully it won't have the problems that that previous release did. This trunk pouch is spectacular. I know I'm saying that word a lot, but there were a lot of things that really impressed me over at Louis Vuitton right now. It is so beautiful. I was told that it's the last one available in the country. I know nobody's going to lie to me on purpose, mislead me on purpose, but I've also heard so many stories from Facebook and this and that where a sales associate has told a customer this is the last one in the country and it turns out not to be. So I don't know for sure if that's true, but what a stunning piece. If that's something you've been looking for, get in touch with Becca and have your credit card ready. The new store is beautiful. One thing that stood out to me was this foosball table. This is actually a Louis Vuitton foosball table. They also have pool tables and some other things. Uh, as you can imagine, they are not inexpensive, but if you're looking for a, it looks like a lime green Louis Vuitton foosball table, we've got one at the Houston Galleria just for you. A couple of bags that stood out to me at this store. The Grand Cabas. I feel like I've seen this on the website before. That would be so perfect for me. The men's collection has great stuff, by the way. A huge boxy tote. 
perfect for me. I already have several. I would love to add a Louis Vuitton one to my collection. There's also this weekend tote, which is like a redesigned better version of the Neverfull. It is gorgeous. The monogram with the black. Mm. I'm not sure about that really light colored interior. I feel like that could get dirty really easily. But other than that, gorgeous. They had these tiny backpacks. They had several key balls, full size and the little extra small ones that are popular with some people at the moment. They had these very interesting clear shoes where you can actually see your feet inside of them or see your socks. I'm not sure I understand this concept. It might be a little above my head. They have a collection with the NBA. This is the Soft Trunk Wearable Wallet and it's made out of basketball leather. You can see the texture of it there. Very cool bag. Now let's head out to the mall and see what else there is beyond Louis Vuitton. This bag is from Balenciaga. It looks like somebody cut up a bunch of sneakers and sewed them together to make a bag. In fact, that's exactly what it is. They are sneaker parts made into a bag. Interesting, not for me, but it's for someone. Chanel had, I think that's the redesigned grand shopping tote, is it not? Someone correct me. And then they had the Shearling Classic Flap seasonal piece. These boots, which I thought were very nice, and they look really comfortable. There's a Chanel 19 in the background, and this boy bag, which personally I don't care for. A few other pieces. I kind of like that silver pouch in the back. Looks like it's maybe for a laptop. And yeah, I wasn't very impressed with the Chanel window displays here. They have these two sequin bags. Sorry I didn't get better photos of those, but uh, not a fan. Not a fan of either of them. Ferragamo had a few things I like. This one that kind of looks like a Kelly bag, that bright green, you know, I'm really drawn to that green these days. And then this bag, which I thought was decent enough. I like the green ostrich one. Prada, I didn't go in and look for the re-editions because everybody knows what those are. So I was looking for some other things. And I thought the black bag that's on the top there, there's another one on the side. I thought that was kind of interesting. It's a little hard to see in these photos. And then the triangular bag that's the shape of their logo. Kind of cool. At least they're interesting designs, something I haven't seen before. Versace had this tote. It looks like a cross between a Neverfull and a Goyard tote with some really poorly done spray paint artwork stuff on the front. And that's a big nope from me. A big nope. I also, since I recently got that little better Sam bag that kind of looks like a Prada re-edition from Kate Spade, I walked down to Kate Spade to see what else they might have in the store that I like. Here are some other patterns that that little better Sam bag comes in. But they had this I Love New York collection and you guys know I used to live in New York. So these shoes are really cute. Not something I would buy and wear, but I thought that the heel on them was really cute. It has the skyline, the Statue of Liberty. It looks like a little snow globe. It's not. Like there's nothing that moves when you shake it around. But I thought it was an interesting design. What I did really like is this bag, which reminded me a lot in terms of the shape and size of it, of the Louis Vuitton Felici. And it's this very simple black bag with the I Love New York logo on it, trademarked logo. Very cute. I would like to add that to my collection. And my last stop was Coach. Love Coach. They have this new Madison bag, or at least new to me. I'd never seen it in this kind of croc print before. Vibrant colors. So I thought some of you might be interested to see that. And then they've updated the swinger bag with this chain that has some leather running through it. I thought that was a really nice update to that bag. Love it. They have quite a few Coach Rogues. A lot of the current ones, all different sizes. So if you're looking for a Rogue, get in touch with the Houston store. Unfortunately, I don't have a contact for you there. And then these little cash and totes, so cute. The only thing I don't like about them, and you can tell how tiny they are. I put my hand in there to give you some scale. The handles, look how thin they are. They're like outlet handles on these cute little boutique bags. They're adorable. I know Winnie BLV is gonna love these. And that's that. That's what I saw, the Houston Galleria. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. I hope you saw some things you were interested in, or at least enjoyed seeing what's out there. Hope to see you back here next time. I hope you and your loved ones are doing well, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.